What's good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have a huge unboxing from walkoutwear.com which is the best place to buy your WWE figures. If you want to, go buy. Um, Elite 55 right now is shipping. It is already shipped. If you pre-ordered with Walkout Wear, it is already shipping to your door. Should be coming any day now. Um, I am excited. Mine is on the way. Hopefully, they will come in very soon, so be on the lookout for that. But if you want to go over there and buy those figures, you can uh, use the promo code MDT. You will save 16%. And it is free U.S. shipping to your door. You can get figures as low as retail prices to your door for absolutely free of charge. So definitely go check out that. But if you notice, this box is already cut open. And that is, um, in the next clip, you'll notice I'm cutting it open. That is because I accidentally deleted the intro to this video. So I had to go ahead and redo it. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. And let's go. All right, guys. So getting straight into the box. Very excited to pick this thing up. Again, we only have one Elite in here, but it's not too big of a deal. You know, it is what it is. I think that um, we will be getting the rest of the way very soon. So, um, But again, Elite 55 should be on its way to your door if you pre-ordered from Walkout Wear. So that is something that you can look forward to. I'm so happy that mine should be here tomorrow. Um, so maybe I'll get the video up tomorrow. If not, it will be the next few days. But right here, you see we have some stuffing. And then right there we have the new figures and okay so I think it may be two basics maybe three I'm not sure but as we unwrap this bubble packaging right there you see we have the new AJ Styles which I did not get to pick up that WWE shop exclusive or whatever it was so I'm very happy to have this I love the new basic uh, packaging I think that looks awesome so we have AJ and then this one looks amazing as well. We have the Shane McMahon, which I am very happy with. I think you could easily convert this into an Elite if you wanted to. Um, this is the match from Survivor Series last year. So I guess the one-year anniversary coming up, this is where he got speared by Roman Reigns and, you know, had the concussion or whatever it was. But in the rest of the box, we have this Elite right here, which looks absolutely beautiful. And that is this Elite Charlotte. And this is my first chance to see the Elite 54 in person, and I am absolutely loving the packaging. Um, I think that the red and the white and then the uh, the viewing window is bigger, um, and the packaging is a lot nicer. I think it's awesome. You get the stuff on the back, get a little detail here, rest of the wave, and then a picture of Charlotte, and really awesome there. And then, so there is another basic figure. I was mistaken. So here we have Braun Strowman, which... This is Basic Series 78. I did forget which series it was, but very happy to have this Strowman. And like Wrestling Hero Fix said, there is new hands on this one, so they're not tiny hands or whatever. So we do need to do a hand swap with this on my Elite, which we may do in this video. But yeah, let's go ahead and crack these figures open because I want to see what they look like. All right, guys, here we have the basics out of the packaging. First up right here, we have AJ Styles, and this is in his red attire, which I think looks awesome. This is a re-release of that WWE Shop exclusive, which I did miss out on, so I'm very happy to pick it up here in this Basic 78 series. But there are no details in the gloves, no details on the wristbands or the AJ logos on the gloves, which isn't a big deal. Of course, we do have the trash articulation again on these basics. No bicep swivel, only at the elbow or whatever that is. So it kind of sucks, you know, you don't get any... Um, more arm swaps with these new basics but you can do a hand swap or a head swap if you wanted to that continues but here's the attire it looks pretty awesome I love the phenomenal one on the back of the kick pads there um, very very awesome AJ basic I guess it does kind of suck that you don't get much articulation but if you're just setting it on the shelf I guess it's not a big deal anyways um, moving on into Braun Strowman Set AJ back there. Braun Strowman right here. Um, again with the hands. I noticed this in Wrestling Hero Figs video. Um, this right here is crazy. If you look at this Braun Strowman and then you look at the Elite right here, look at the hands difference. Like look at that. Now that you look at the Elite, these hands are baby hands compared to the new basic. So we will be doing a hand swap. I'll probably do that here in just a few minutes. There goes Strowman. But um, yeah, very awesome Braun Strowman basic. Uh, same head scan. I wish that the Elite had these pants on. I think these pants are a lot better. Um, I love the green with the brown and the light green uh, details in there. But here we go. We have Shaming Man up next. And this is obviously his Survivor Series 2016 attire. And I believe you could convert this into an Elite if you wanted to. If you use the ringside exclusive 
um, Shane McMahon and you put the uh, this torso or just remove this shirt and then put the uh, do it like a torso swap with the uh, Elite 50 Shane McMahon I think that would look amazing maybe somebody can do that or I may do it in the future just to see do a shoe swap and it could easily be converted but this is like our third or fourth Shane McMahon figure since he returned to WWE and I really like this figure a lot one of the better um, basic figures from the new sets but now we can take a look at Charlotte Flair which uh, is laying over here so here is Charlotte and I am a huge fan of this figure I think it's really awesome um, I think the Mattel has done an outstanding job on these latest uh, women figures between Elite 53 Alexa Bliss and then the Walgreens exclusive Sasha Banks to go with this figure right here um, it is amazing you have the blue glitter attire um, I wish it was that peacock attire, which would have been awesome. I'm sure we'll get that in the future in a basic or something. But um, here it is compared to her other uh, figure with her dad in the battle pack. And I like this head scan a lot more, in my opinion. I think this captures Charlotte's likeness more. I may do a head swap with it. But um, this does have the glitter detail on the eye. I do not think that this one has it. And this one does include her uh, mole on her face. So very detailed, very accurate. And if you look at these figures side by side, it looks like they increased her head size by like 20 or 30%, which is a little weird, but not that big of a deal. But now that we've covered her figures, now we can look at her uh, awesome entrance robe, which looks incredible. I think the detail on this is amazing. On the back, you have flare right there, and it is this blue sparkly, um, nice uh, material, very, uh, not cheap at all, very nice, m nicely made and uh, the glitter on the inside looks amazing as well so we have gotten quite a few robes here with all of these wwe figures but now let's go ahead and swap those hands on that braun Strowman and see what it looks like all right guys here we have braun Strowman, and these fix up was a total fail just like my ray mysterios um the hands cannot be switched because these hands in these peg holes are really really loose they don't even go all the way in there i guess with some modification you could probably make it work but I'm not going to go through that in this video. I just do not feel like going through the trouble to do that right now. It's not that big of a deal to me. But these hands are tiny. When you look at these compared to those, those are way more accurate in my opinion. Um, probably this one more than this one. I feel like when they have open hands, they make them way too big compared to the other hand. However, it's, it is what it is. That fix-up did not work. So there's a fix-up fail. But here is the head swap for the Charlottes. And... As you can see here, you can now see that um, I think that this head on here, it may be a tad too tall. Let me know in the comment section below if you think this head is too tall in this neck. It doesn't look that bad in my opinion, but this right here, you can tell that this head on this body is probably a little bit too big, but I think that the head swap works. I mean, I think that um, the Charlotte looks pretty nice right here. I am feeling this figure a lot more now. I think that it looks a lot better. But um, it, the head may sit at tad eye. Please let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.